Hi friends, today is the day. Not only is this the end of my, you know, current official declutter series, there's a good chance that I will eventually do another one because I'm all about the decluttering. But not only is it the last day, it's also the mauve lipstick day. These are my favorite shades of lipstick and I have way too many. There are so many and this isn't even all of them. I already pre-separated some of the ones that I know for sure that I'm getting rid of. I've got all of these too. These are the ones I'm having a hard time deciding if I want to get rid of them. <laughs> like I've been doing in the past few videos, I am going to show you the ones I'm getting rid of for sure and then I'm going to swatch the rest of these and then I'm going to try to find some dupes and get rid of the ones where I don't like the formula as much. Like I said, we're gonna start with the ones I'm getting rid of for sure. This first one is by Bella Pierre. It's a Kiss Proof Lip Cream in the shade Antique Pink. It ends up, you know, being a little bit sticky when it dries down, just not my fave. We have a Jingai Velvet Shine Lip Jewel. These don't have the shade names on them for some reason. Just not a huge fan of the jumbo, like, lip crayon applicators. Getting rid of Spiked with Rum by Wet n Wild. I never reach for it. This one is by Stowaway Cosmetics in the shade Muted Plum. I'm pretty sure I got rid of the other two Stowaway lip products that I have. Noya Deeply in Mauve. This is one of my favorite lipstick shades. But I have the full size now, and this is just the little sample, so I'm going to get rid of this one. I actually think I talked about the full size in my like deeper plum lipstick declutter. Rimmel, the only one lipstick in It's a Keeper. The scent is really annoying and also I don't like this applicator. I don't like these flat top applicators. We have this one by, I want to say it's Duce Cosmetics in the shade 808. It's kind of a fun packaging. It has like a little click. I think it's called a click like lipstick. I never reach for it. I have a lot of lipsticks that are pretty, but if I don't reach for them, I think they can get a better home somewhere else. I have this Femme Lipstick by Clean Color in the shade Tea Rose. How pretty that is. But I have similar shades. I have. That's the problem with these mauves, is that I have so many shades that are so similar. I really cannot justify keeping all of these. This one is by Essence in the shade I Am Yours. Like honestly, unless the lip product was bad, the reason I'm getting rid of most of these is because I have similar shades in formulas I like better or reach for more often. Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Chihuahua. This one I didn't love the shade and they bleed on me a little bit, the melted lipsticks. Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in Magnificent Mauve. And then Color Sensational Lipstick in Lust for Blush. Oh. But I really like that one. Actually, I'm going to think about it. NARS Rokogian. This one's just uh, a little warm and just kind of sheer. ColourPop Lumiere. I actually do really like this one, but I have the liquid lipstick formula that I like better. ColourPop Clueless. This is their ultra matte formula. This one is by Pure. It's a lip lure in Belle. This one, I didn't love the shade on me. Pacifica Power of Love natural lipstick in nudie red also just not a flattering shade on me i have a nyx lip liner in mauve it's just not very creamy that's the main reason i don't like this one and then a lip liner from rimmel it's a lasting finish one in mauve shimmer again just not very creamy and then finally starlux and boxy charm they made a ultra long wear lip pencil in the shade charmed I do like that it's a twist up, that's nice. This one is like completely dried out, as in I can't get a swatch at all. So these are the ones I'm getting rid of for sure. However, my goal is to get rid of more because like I said, I have so many mauve lipsticks and I don't need them all. I'm gonna wipe these swatches off, get started on the rest. So I try to sort of separate them into color families within the mauve groups. So I have like more pinky mauves, more purpley mauves, nudie <laughs> mauves. So, I don't know. We're gonna see how that works. I just, I don't think there's gonna be enough room on my hand to do all of them next to each other. So, I guess let's just get started. This is a Starlux lip pencil in Stellar. It's actually creamy. It's not dried out. Cafon D liquid lipstick in Mother. This is one of my favorite formulas for liquid lipsticks. So, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of this. Even if I have duplicates, I'll probably get rid of the dupes. This is definitely like almost a pink, like a hot pink. I also have Love Sick by Kat Von D. A little bit less hot pink. Anastasia Beverly Hills Allison. This could have gone with the more brownie mauves. I feel like it looks a lot pinker in the tube than it does on the hand. So I'm going to put that with the brown ones after I 
finish with these. Revlon Matte Balm in Elusive. Much lighter than the other ones so far. Elf Tea Rose. I thought it would be similar to Lovesick. Not as much as I thought. Stila Patina. This is a nice kind of more true mauve shade. Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Queen Bee. Another kind of true mauve shade there. ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Clueless. Um, I have the mini too, so I was definitely going to get rid of the mini and keep the full size. That was my current plan. But I'm wondering if maybe I should switch and keep the mini if I do decide I like the shade. Look at that. Those two are almost identical. Bare Minerals Juju. A little bit of a warmer shade there. Oh, these smell so good. They smell like cocoa powder. Jouer Lip Cream in Lychee. Marc Jacobs Slow Burn. I don't even know that I've used it yet. It looks really similar to the Jouer one. Those two are pretty similar. And then finally, NARS Audacious Lipstick in Anna. Another one that I know for sure I'm not getting rid of. Okay, let's see here. I have to pick between Clueless and Too Faced, and I think I'm going to get rid of Clueless by ColourPop. I really like Stila Patina, which is this shade right here with the other one underneath it, and that's NARS Anna. They're very similar though. Slow Burn there and then Joy Lychee right next to it. Those are both really similar too. Yeah, those are almost identical. I think I'm going to get rid of the Marc Jacobs Mini just because I reach for liquid lipsticks more often than I reach for regular lipsticks especially, but even more than minis. I don't reach for them super often. The only one other one I'm on the fence about is the Revlon Matte Balm just because I don't use that formula as much. So I'm going to set it aside and try it on, but I'm keeping the rest of these. I got rid of two more. I left the Anastasia Beverly Hills one because I'm gonna be doing these like brown tones next. This one's by Estee Edit called in the buff it's really creamy i think i like it i have this ofra liquid lipstick in pasadena ColourPop matte ultra matte lip in stingray that one's a lot darker nyx liquid suede in soft spoken pretty similar to pasadena revlon super lustrous lipstick in rose velvet Maybelline Touch of Spice. This is like a cult classic. Marc Jacobs Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And finally, ColourPop Libby Sticks and Cami. I feel like Rose Velvet and this NYX one are similar. Okay, so these two are basically identical so i need to think about that for a minute because both of those are relatively new you know what for being a cult classic i don't think i love touch of spice as much as most people do cami's pretty similar i think i might just keep cami and get rid of touch of spice without removing these swatches i'm going to do the nude ones i have nars bound here nyx lingerie and bedtime flirt this one's definitely a nude shade bobby brown sand wash pink I need to do that next to Elf T Rose. No, those are different. Mac Faux. And then Smashbox Stepping Out. This Smashbox one is looking more and more like this uh, NYX Liquid Suede here. So I'm going to keep the Smashbox because I love the formula. I think I'm going to get rid of this Bobbi Brown one. I don't use it. I think I'm having too much trouble getting rid of anymore. So <laughs> I think... Even though these are really similar, I think I'm going to keep them both. I'm too attached to my mobs, okay? But part of the Marie series is if you love it, you keep it. Okay, let's do the more purpley ones. This is, oh, sorry, the CoverGirl Katie Cat Matte in Katie Purry. And then I have Bite Beauty Multi Stick in Macaron. Or is this one Macaroon? This one's Macaroon, never mind. I have Bite Pastille. And then ColourPop Bijou, or B-U, B-I-J-O-U. That one should have just been in my purples. So that's like straight up purple. Not a huge fan of these Bite Multi Sticks, so I think I'm going to pass that one on. I don't reach for them, and I don't use them as they're intended. And then we have what I call the True Mauves. We'll see if they actually look like that when I swatch them. But Kat Von D, Lovecraft. Sephora MO3. I don't see the shade name on here. 6041B MO3. That's all I see. The formula of this is so, so good. Too Faced Queen Bee. 
very similar. Huda Beauty Medusa. This one's more of a grayish. ColourPop Lumiere 2. And NYX Lingerie and Honeymoon. This maybe should have been with my browns. So the Sephora and the Too Faced, those are very similar, but I love both of those so much, so I'm not going to get rid of either of them. And then the Huda and the ColourPop, I love both of those too, so I think, I think I'm just going to stick with all of these. Okay, so I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I didn't get rid of enough, so I need to pass something else along. So I'm going to take another look. Let's see. I think I can part with this Katie Cat Matte one. I like it, but not enough. I'm gonna get rid of this Estee Edit lip liner because I put it on and it's like essentially the exact same shade as my lips. So if I don't want a colorful lip liner, like actual like tinted lip liner or something that looks like tinted on me, I have a clear one that I'm gonna use instead. So I'm gonna pass that on. Okay, so this is what I'm keeping. There are 27 here, but look how much better that looks. Like it's only too deep instead of like 35. Oh, it's still not exactly how much I wanted to get rid of, but it's definitely better. Okay, now let me show you really quickly what I'm getting rid of. You guys, I'm getting rid of 27. No way. That is incredible. There is no way I thought I was going to get rid of half of my mauves. But I did. I got rid of exactly half. This is way more that I ever thought I'd be able to get rid of. And I'm really proud of myself for this. Now I just have to like get them out of my sight before I change my mind about any of them because I really do. Like I could happily keep all of these, but I think I'm gonna be more happy with less clutter because this was really stressing me out. I am definitely still sad to be parting with them, but now that it's over, I'm, I'm glad that it is, so I gotta stop looking at them so I don't change my mind. I eventually am going to be trying to put some of these on like Poshmark and stuff, some of the really lightly used ones. Of course, I'll sanitize them and everything, um, but I'm gonna like put them in bundles and severely discount them. I do have some stuff already up on a Poshmark, but right now it's all like clothes and shoes. So eventually I'm gonna put, you know, makeup on there as well. So just stay tuned for that if you are interested in buying any of this. And if from all of these declutters you are interested in purchasing a bundle from Poshmark, let me know and I will be happy to make those arrangements. Message me, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, through YouTube, comment on a video, <laughs> whatever is easiest for you and we can work something out. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I will link my declutter playlist down in the description below. That is going to be it for me today and I will see you all soon. Bye!